So when I'm going to smoke trout, um, I like to debone them. I don't like to have any bones in it because it's a real, uh, it's not a hot, because they're really low temperature when you're smoking them, so bones are still going to be in there. So I just fillet them. I cut the belly first so I get even pieces. Get rid of the fins. I got a bunch of them to do, but we'll just show you on this one, the starting process. Good. I just fillet them kind of get the camera where it's pointing right. Kind of like a lot of folks do it, I guess. Take the fillets off. I got my trash bag here. For that, I go to a, a little short four inch. This is a six inch knife, but I go to a little short four inch knife for this deboning. I get right up under the ribs there and tilt my knife up where I can see it. It's just running right up under the ribs and pop those out pretty easy. And get rid of the ribs fairly, fairly simple. And the ribs are out. There's the rib cage and the pin bones. You can feel them with your finger running down to about right here and make an imaginary line right there to the right side of them. Take your knife and cut down to the skin, but don't cut through it all the way through it, just down to the skin, through the meat. Bring you another cut back here and meet them. Meet your two cuts. Get up here at the front of it. Get your finger under it and get it loose like that. And then hold it down and just run your finger down and pop that little piece of meat out there. And there's your uh, debone fillet right there. It doesn't have any bones at all on it. Go ahead and do this one real quick. Sorry about the camera. I'm new to this. You can see your knife right up under the ribs if you tilt it up a little bit. This one cleans up. Find the uh, find the pin bones. One cut. Two cuts. A little strip right there. Pop it up, get it loose, run your finger, run your finger down along that skin underneath it and it'll peel right out. And both of these pieces right now have no bones on them and that's how I start. And next I'll show you how to, how to get them in the brine and mix all that up. After you get the trout filleted and deboned it's time to make your wet brine that you're going to soak it in overnight i got some water simmering it calls for eight cups i got four cups of water here in this pot and i got about four cups of ice in this pitcher right here and my seasonings i'll put a uh put the recipe on the in the description on the video but there's brown sugar kosher salt some spices in here I'm going to add all that to this water and get it all mixed in real good. There's a tablespoon of soy sauce. That's about what I've got left in this jar. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. Like I said, the recipe will be listed in the description. 
I'm gonna simmer this for just a little bit and then dump it into this ice. And what I'll do is let me <clears throat> go ahead and put the brine on the fish immediately. It'll cool it. I won't have to sit and wait for this eight cups of water to chill. So we'll get this uh, mixed up and chilled and then we'll go and uh, put the fish in a brine for overnight. Alright, so our wet brine has cooled off, chilled it with this ice, and you just pour it in over top of the fish. Make sure it's covered real good. And uh, we're going to stick this in the fridge and cover it up and leave it overnight. You can leave it 24 hours if you want. I usually do it the night before, but we're going to leave this in here overnight in the fridge, um, soaking in this brine and get at it, smoking it tomorrow morning. Okay, so our fish has been in the brine solution in the fridge overnight. You want to get it out and dump all that brine solution out, all the liquid. You want to rinse them really good. There'll be little bits and pieces of the brown sugar and the salt and all the spices and stuff um, it left in there. <clears throat> so rinse them really good. I got them laying out some paper towels here and I got a towel up underneath it and I'm, I'm blotting them here with some more paper towels. You want to have the meat on this fish has got to be dry um, to the touch <clears throat> before you can smoke it or the smoke won't stick to it. It forms what's called a pellicle on it, and uh, you won't get that unless it's dry. So I'm gonna put a fan on this, <clears throat> run some air across it for about 30 minutes. And when I come back right now, it's still a little wet. When I come back, if you put your finger on it and, and your finger kind of sticks to it a little bit, then, uh, then it's dried enough and we'll be ready to go in the smoker. All right, so we got our fish dried we put a fan on it for about 30 minutes and got the meat dry and stick your finger on it it kind of pulls when you pull away your finger it's a little sticky so we should be able to we should be able to uh get some good smoke on it i've got it here in my smoker right now which is actually a pit boss pellet grill um runs on wood pellets and uh we're running right now about 130 degrees and that's about what I want it's kind of windy today today so I might have a hard time keeping my temperature straight but we're gonna run this for about three or four hours keep an eye on it um, at some point in time during it when we're getting ready to take it off and it's taking enough smoke what we want to do is we want to bump it up to at least 145 150 that way we know the meats uh, been brought to a high enough temperature that there shouldn't be bacteria or anything in it we're not doing a cold smoke. That's a lot different. This is a cooked smoke. A cold smoke is a curing smoking process. A lot, a lot, a lot different. But this is a, a warm, hot smoke. So we'll smoke it for three or four hours. And uh, we'll take a look at it then and, and see what it looks like and tastes like. All right, here's the finished product. that probably ran for three and a half, four hours. I don't know. I don't watch what time I put it in. I watch for the color. For it to get that deeper dark red and uh I look for the tails to curl up like that the whole the whole fillet kind of curls up and the meat gets a little stiff and uh when i think it's done i take it off and bring it right straight in the house and stick it in the fridge and chill it immediately let it chill for about 30 minutes or an hour and then uh take and put it in the vacuum packer and these black strips you're seeing that's that's where i cut the pin bones out that's the skin when i filleted them i took the bones out too but uh this stuff is good I'm trying to get a piece off with one hand here it's not gonna work but it's uh it's very good even if you don't like fish very much like me i call this fish candy because it's it's very sweet most of the fish taste is gone in it. So that's it for this time. Uh, 
we'll see you next video thanks for taking the time to watch and, and try this out if you got a smoker i'll put the recipe for the brine all the ingredients and everything in the description and try it out sometime